Um, good morning. Very, very good morning. I'm here with my dad. Hey, idiot, say hi. Hello. I brought my dad to a car event this morning because my girlfriend didn't want to wake up. We just rolled up to Cars and Jets, which was also being partnered with BH2, which is kind of rallies I do often. Ran by Joseph, if you guys know Joseph, he's got an M2 comp. In my mind, i never been to this event. I thought it was going to be kind of like private and like, well, it's not, okay? Supposedly there's like 10 or 7 Prayer GT showed up. There's two already over here. And at the location we're going to, there's going to be some hyper cars. So today's going to be a good video. But right now, we're just going to show you all the, there's a lot of cars. So enjoy the cars, but before you enjoy the cars, welcome to Driven by Jordan. I've been shooting for like literally 30 minutes. Being a YouTuber, I'll give you guys the end, I'll be honest with you, it's kind of a sad truth. I used to actually enjoy car shows a little more when I wasn't filming them, but I do love having a car channel, so I love the whole process. I don't regret anything. I'm just saying, I did just spend like 30 minutes filming cars, and I don't think I visually like actually looked at one to enjoy it the entire time. But while I was doing that, so many cars pulled up. Stilo and his two homies pulled up in two Aventador SVs and a GT2 RS. I was just checking out the Viola Hong Kong Pista, I think it's called Viola Hong Kong, which is like one of three or one of five of that color ever made. That was the purple pista with the stripes that kind of fade. I'm obsessed with pistas right now. That could be a future car on the channel. It's just a bit out of my price range. And the next year, you know, we're gonna hustle a little bit. And that is the goal is to keep my GT4 or my M2 and then get a pista. I wish I could spec one out, but you know, by then in the next 20 years when I finally afford one, <laughs> I probably won't be able to spec one out. I'm joking, I'm joking, it'll be like two years. We're gonna cruise out, we're gonna film this whole rally, and then we're actually going to a really special location which is the new Porsche dealership, which people don't know, by the way. It's supposed to be like a secret location, so people don't know that. The new Porsche dealership in Santa Clarita, which is very, very special if you guys have never seen it. I've never been there. I'm really excited to go there, so let's get on the road.
just rolled up. We're at Porsche Santa Clarita. Obviously, we got the golden spot, you know, next to all the Porsches. There's some crazy stuff down there. More are showing up over here. A Carrera GT did like three donuts over there and got screamed at. And my camera's dying. So somehow, lucky for me, I might have to switch to my phone. I know I need to buy another battery. I will buy a new battery soon. I just bought 30 for my other camera and I'm still upset that uh, they don't work on this camera. So I'm just, you know, I'm resentful. So uh, here we are. So we're on my phone now. So if audio gets horrible, I'm sorry. I'm irresponsible, that's what it is, but it's whatever. Phone's good, Steve Jobs is gonna take over for today. In this bunker down here, we have all the cars that are kind of parked outside. We have this whole line of cars that you guys saw right as my camera died. Inside this downstairs bunker is some of the craziest things I've seen in a long time. Let let me just give you a, a guesstimate of what's down there. There's gotta be at least 40 million in cars down there. No, 50 million in cars down there. So we're gonna head there right now. And I'm currently staring at a Viper Green and I believe a Guards Red 918 Spider. So enjoy. You walk in and just sitting right here is that. What is going on? And then you look to your left and see a Pista. Then you look and see nine Carrera GTs. Over here, there's a Ford GT back there, an F8 Tributo, an Enzo with American flag and Armenian flag, Spiker over there, a beautifully specced Senna, I think exposed carbon, and all of these Carrera GTs, which is so cool to have the Carrera GTs and the 918 Spiders, but for some reason, the colors on those are really outshining these, but these are supposed to be black anyway, you know? In my opinion, I would spec it actually all I don't know, actually. I don't know. What would you guys spec your Carrera GT? SVJ, Mercy, and then over here, the Le Mans version of the 675 LT, which I think that's what this is. So they actually just released this in the new 720S. Similar wheels, you get a roof scoop, similar spec, and it's awesome. But this is just so, so, so rare. Porsche Santa Clarita has like its own little mini museum in here. There's actually a place where there's like plexiglass in their dealer showroom above us, where you walk over one of the cars that are in display over there. So let's go check. Ooh, the TDF is parked here too, it's hiding. The TDF's right over there. So let's go check their museum out. Galpin does crazy things. GT Tour S is Khloe Kardashian's. That's what they said. And then you have a spinning 935 that is just absolutely beautiful, which you could see from here, where there's just a 935 under me. I want to get it to like a good position. That just spins on a little thing right under me. Ooh, there's some good cars in the dealership. All right, I'm gonna at the point right now where I want to sit back, I want to eat some healthy food, and then me and my dad are gonna peace out. We're gonna go for a nice little drive home. So I'll see you guys when I'm full. Loading a Enzo on a truck right now. He just laughs. <laughs> oh my god. One of my favorite cars that exists, ladies and gentlemen. A Ferrari Enzo. I got food in my stomach. I still gotta go get a goodie bag. But after a really long day, I think I've decided this is one of my favorite cars here. Overall, just for between spec and everything. Your car is beautiful, my friend. And I just keep staring at it. Back home, little canyon run. Let's wrap up today's video. Oh, everything's starting up and everything's leaving. <laughs>